Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new Raging Sands event. Uh, I'm going to talk about what you should be redeeming from the supply box uh, here. And I'm going to talk about how I was able to do this event. I actually did it yesterday, which was day four of this account. I mean, as you can see right now, it says day five. Um, but I was able to beat all of these stages yesterday up to, you know, uh, FAC 112. Uh, and I was also able to beat the boss. So I'll, I'll talk about a composition. I'll actually show you um, the units that I used. Uh, like I'll show you a, a walkthrough of it uh, that I did today. I, I forgot to take the video yesterday, so I can show that at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So I think this is a really good event, especially for newer players, because it gives such a, 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 an abundance of rewards that will help you to level up your units. Um, when you're starting, uh, you can see that the first few levels are actually really easy. Uh, like, you know, it, like recommended level is level 10, uh, recommended level is level 20. So it, it's like really easy to do the first few levels. Uh, however, it is really important to get up to the end here, like to do FAC 112, because when you do that is when this boss here will open up. And you really want to get this boss because uh, he gives a lot of these um, voyage mileage tickets. And you really want these because the rewards are so good. So you want to really capitalize on this. And you can only do it once a day. And if you don't unlock this, then you know, you're know you missing out, right? So you want to unlock it as soon as possible. Um, so say you're a new player, right? And you're starting to do this and you get stuck somewhere. Say you get stuck at, I don't know, 110 and the recommended level is 45 and you can't beat it. So what you can do now is, first of all, claim all the rewards that you have, right? Uh, you, you will probably get a ton of rewards from these, so claim all of that that you got, and then um, just play normally. Like whatever you're doing, whether it's the story mode, whether it's you know farming these materials, do what you can and keep getting these tickets. And once you have enough tickets, go to the supply office and exchange them for materials that you need to level up your units. And most notably here, especially if you're a newer player. For uh, older players, I will give a little bit of different advice. But for newer players that don't have the units that you need to beat this yet, get these, get the Mania Essences and the Coins, because these are two key um, items that you need to basically level up your units. Uh, when I started this, uh, you know, yesterday, my units were a lot lower level than now. Like most of them are, you know, level 60, 55, 55, 55, 45, 40. I think when I just did this yesterday, I only had this one, like Luvia at level 60, and everyone else was, I think, level 40. So I was able to, I mean, it gives a ton of rewards, really. Uh, if you take a look at this, if you claim all of these from here, if you claim all of these, that's 500,000 um, Mania Essence, right? And 500,000 coins as well. Um, now, why am I saying to claim these? Isn't it better to claim some of the other stuff? Well, if you take a look and see how much tickets you're getting and how much you need to really, uh, you know, claim everything here, I think you probably, like if you're playing every day, and especially if you're doing that boss quest every day, you can probably buy out this whole thing, right? And so for newer players, the key really right now is to make sure you're getting to that boss. Like, you know, you're doing that boss once a day. You need to have a, a team built up that's strong enough to do that. And so if you need to claim these mania senses and these coins to do that, that's what I recommend. Because once you're able to do that, then your income for these tickets are going to go up and you'll be able to claim everything else here easily as well. Um, now for a little bit older players, like the players that are able to do that already, maybe these are not the items that you want to go for right away. Maybe the items that you want to go for is something like this, where, which helps you to unlock the P3. Uh, this is an item uh, for Nox. It, uh, I think she needs 15 of these, it gives you eight. So you only need seven more. Uh, it's one of the items for her P3 unlock, like a phase three unlock. And this is for other units, I think that also uh, can unlock their phase three. Uh, and I think it's it's still, it's, it's a very good idea to get the five warrants at the beginning. Uh, maybe not the beginning, but make sure you get them at some point because uh, this is almost like 900 uh, hypercubes, right? So you really want to get this. Um, this is good. I mean, it, it gives you a different song you want to play at, in the record. Um, I, I, I thought it was a good buy. So I, I mean, it's only 500 tickets I got it. But yeah, I mean, if you are a newer player, focus on these items so you can level up your units. If you're an older player, focus on the crystals and you know the things that you need to uh, break your units, to, you know, to level them up in a phase. Because I mean, you're already able to 
beat this so you don't you don't need to level up your units right now what you want to do is get your units stronger uh, and and get these items um, you are able to borrow a friend when you're doing this like I'm just gonna click on one of these and then exit uh, so you know let me start with this one uh, you you are able to bring a friend along you know assist uh, so you can bring like a level 70. I mean, I'm able to bring a level 70. It depends on what your level is, I think, to bring. So you might be capped at level 40 if you're very underleveled. Um, but the higher level you go and the higher level your units are, uh, the higher access you have to, to the units that you have available. Sometimes you might have a friend with high level, like your friend might have a unit that has level 70 uh, you know, units. But because of your unit cap, they will actually lower their units. So even if your friend has level 70 units, when you see them here, they will actually only be level 40 because it is limited by your, I don't know if it's limited by the level of your units or by the level of your chief, but it is limited in, in one way. So you want to level up you know, your chief and your units as, as soon as possible to have access to that level 70 units. Uh, and as I said, you only need to beat this once. Once you beat it, I mean, even if you look at mine that I've completely cleared it, there's no raid. So once you beat it, there isn't even any other rewards to get. Uh, upon completion of the first time, there isn't a secondary reward that you're getting anyway, right? So you're only trying to beat this once. Um, but it, as I said, it is important to get to the end so that you can unlock this boss. And once you're able to fight this boss, you are, um, uh, yeah, you're able to farm these tickets every day, which I think is really important. Uh, one thing that I will talk about, because when I'm when I'm showing you the walkthrough later, I'm not really commenting on it. So I'm going to talk about the skill here, which I think is very important to use. Um, because you, you will see me doing it in the walkthrough. But anyway, so this skill is a very important skill because it deals three core damage and it's a pretty huge area. So when the boss is fighting, there is a lot of other enemies that have cores that come up. Uh, you can see like, you know, these guys that have cores that come up and it, the core only goes up to three. So it's not even more than three for the other units that come up. So one way to basically continuously use the skill, it costs three to use, but if you are able to target the boss and break his core and two other core breaking units, so if you're using all three at the same time, you're basically able to replenish the skill, you know, constantly, right? So I used my breakers like Hikate, uh, is it Hikate? I don't know, uh, and EMP to, um, to break the boss's, you know, no, to bring it down from six, to three cores and then I would use this skill to break the cores and also uh, try to get two other units that have cores in the AoE so that I'm able to keep constantly replenishing it. Uh, it does deal as it's, it says in the title massive damage so this was a good source of damage for me um, and I, I used a formation like this basically I had like one tank here and the other tank here uh, and you know, the other damage dealers. The boss also has a skill that he does where he targets your units. So the tile that you're on will glow purple. And so when it's glowing purple, just move your unit over. Um, you might even target the back line. So wherever he's attacking, move the units over and then it, you have about a second delay before the skill goes off. So when it's glowing purple, move them over. And then if you need, you can move them back. Um, that's really it for the comments. I think that's, uh, um, I mean, you can see the walkthrough later as I'm, as I'm doing it. Uh, I used uh, I, I used another core breaker because uh, the boss has a lot of cores. So I think I replaced EMP with uh, another core breaker in my walkthrough, with the, you know, a level 70 friend. Um, and uh, I think that's that's really it. it this I, I feel like this event is, uh, newbie friendly because it starts at level 10 and you don't even have to keep doing the, you don't have to repeat these like if you are you know in other games like uh, epic 7 right like you really want to do the latest stage like you want to farm the latest stage to get the maximum amount of tickets that you can but in this case it's not it's not it like you can just do your normal story you can farm for whatever you really need to farm like if you need to farm materials from stage 6 you can just repeat it and every um, stamina that you use you get one of these tickets so you don't you only have to do the event once so I think it's newbie friendly because uh, you are able to farm the tickets even from other sources right uh, and if you are absolutely stuck and you just cannot do the boss that's still okay because you're still able to farm these tickets from other places now what if you're a day one player I think it's still newbie friendly for a day one player as well you know why because a day one player has a lot of stamina 
that um, you know me as a day f five player already used in the first three days, right? If you're starting today, every single stamina that you're using is gonna count towards tickets. And when you're a new player, you're gonna level up really fast, you're gonna get a lot, a lot of the stamina refreshes that way. And so whatever stamina that you're getting, you might get like, I don't know, a few thousand staminas that way, you're gonna get that few thousand tickets. So that will also help offset the time that you cannot do the boss, right? Because you're not able to do the boss as a, as a day one player. We probably need like a few days at least to build up a team to do it. But it offsets it because you're getting those few thousand staminas as a day one player that um, you are able to use to, to buy tickets. So that's it for my commentary. Um, I'm going to show the video of me beating this uh, boss here. Um, and then stay tuned. I'm going to make more videos just to give you a recap. I am a free-to-play player. I haven't spent any money on this. And, uh, you know, this game is... I think it's one more fun as a free-to-play player because you really have to um, manage your resources to, to see what units you want to play. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for more free-to-play videos. And I will also uh, make a introduction video to this game because I figured I haven't done that yet. And some people are asking, how is this game? So I want to make a video talking about the game, why I like it, and, you know, if I recommend it and what kind of players I would recommend it for. So stay tuned for that. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Admiration for art in the Legion. Vanish. You got me too close.
Now, what's next? 